you know, they can probably guess that uh, attack all around definitely got the intel that they were going to uh, have multiple people in A lobby. Whether they commit or not, that's another thing. But mm -hmm. uh, at the very least, they know that, you know, the numbers game probably not going to be in their favor. They're going to continue to poke and prod. And you can already see that uh, um, King, mm -hmm. he's going to be all the way on that C long side, not really wanting to progress further as there's going to be a little bit of dark cover uh, being popped out there by Congret. All right. Well, the flash that came out here. Um, Wanna fly? Gonna actually walk out here though. It's spotted out, but of course the better gun wins. Whew. So Wanna fly takes out RB. One of key players right now for a uh, VS. And uh, I think this is a uh, kind of those maps that you really need to take control of Garden. Thirty seconds left. Buttons. Like I said, they are playing very slow. Dark cover comes out here though. They are actually going to be planting at B. So um, covering up Link from A. It's gonna rotate out back to Garden. Take it slow here. I mean, it is a 5 on 4 advantage right now for Triple A. Well, oh, that's one shot though. Uh, it's actually a trade. Aesthetic gets off one. Of course, gets traded off by King right now. It is 2 on 1. Okay, Triple A. They can still hold Pulse Plant. But Vision Strike. No, I mean, um, Triple A. He's looking for a defuse already. Can they actually get it? But hey, that is the shock that message there on top of uh, sewer ramps. Not able to land any more shots there. But RB gonna try and go for the prod there, but he's gonna get caught out. Yeah, I did want to apologize a little bit. I did confuse Triple A FPS versus the attack and defending side, but um, little issue on that though. However, like you said, the, um, the sewer. Hey, buddy, check out that out, but what? I wanna fly with the spectre. Takes off the king. They wanna make that entry here though. I wanna fly one, two, three. That's a three man down for him and that's what would be more confident in being able to fight against Spectres which are currently stacked up here on Garage. The aggressive push coming out here. PTC looking to get in the faces there and look at the flash point working so well yet again here. Zest will be able to get the refrag but damage is being done. They want to trade evenly here as of course these weapons from Vision Strikers they're going to be really expensive and difficult to replace if they do not win this round but uh, even if they win there's going to be significant damage and look at this they're actually all going to be weighted here towards that seaside and now this is going to allow now, a relatively clear path here for Vision Strikers. I, I fancy this for Vision Striker because they got out Jet, alright? This one of key players, but they only took out one of their Cyphers as uh, VS is attacking, so they didn't really lose too much right here in terms of like lineup. So now they're going to make their way slowly towards A. There goes the stun. Missing out here though. They're coming out here, okay, making it down. Oh no. Stacks. Taking out the Conqueror. They, they, they were in. They're all in already. It's all of a sudden, Triple A. Only the cipher I left. Like I said, it's it should it should have been it's so good for VS once their jet is down. So they need to take out key players, and like I said, looking good. They didn't drop O3, starting off, ending off with a good start. Yep. So good push on to site A. RB working uh, his magic over there by the sewer. Not really going to be able to stop them too much, but then again, we didn't quite expect it for from Triple uh, A to come out with that. Mm -hmm. But they did actually gamble a little bit, and they m did push more players over towards C and B, thinking that uh, you know Vision Striker might try and counteract the aggressive yep. push coming out there from PTC. But it wasn't going to happen, and now they're going to be able to sustain with the four players uh, into the next round. Going to be um, trying to reverse the trend that we see here against uh, trumping this push here from A. You can already see all the players being pulled out of position here for attack all round. Yeah, they're rotating 30 seconds left. Knowing that someone is up a garage, double doors here. Though a PTC, he is waiting. There's some jet on jet action. Misses it, however. Here comes a duck cover onto Heaven. They are having to rush in though because there's only 18 seconds left. Um, spot our camera actually, but the smoke there from jet. Spike planted. It's gonna cover um, Link. Almost the teleport. They're holding up. They do have number advantage for a uh, triple A. RP trying to watch out for the camera and uh, really knows that this is going to be crucial here for the retake. He's actually going to be tagging RB. He's forced back here. The uh, connector is going to be seeing four players all going to be streaming through at the same time. They know exactly where he is, but RB is able to get the first kill there. Then the crossfire here is going to be absolutely devastating. Glow also going to be contributing, but Ginny is coming up huge here for all attack all round. He picks up the 3k. Zess is going to be moving back in here. The trigger discipline. He's going to be able to take him down. Not able to take down the last player here. Ginny will be able to get the defuse and looks like an attack all around back to winning ways. The massive clutch there, as you say. I was waiting oh, as left. like, um, you know, they can't just bank on that. Like, let's be real because um, their discipline, I think both teams' discipline is pretty good. They haven't tried C, to be honest, but then again, they haven't exactly been trying to take market. They No, not, not market, sorry, uh, but garage doors. Both omens are like trying to do lurky, lurky stuff, all right? 
Uh, and I think one of the reasons why they don't want to like push into C is because they might be afraid of like offers, you know. Mm. But honestly, it's one of the easiest to actually like push in, especially like um, from long. Once you've created enough damage, but otherwise, um, usually A is always the go-to because then again, they are, they are very skirmish heavy, alright? As you got Shavy here, comes the rolling thunder, catches onto Jet, though she is this arm, and then she goes down. Triple A, looking very strong all of a sudden. But Stax only gets the change, there's one more left. exchange though. And one of them comes two versus three Jet. Our dear Triple A rotating back over to C just in case because there's so much skirmish just happening at A though. But what an outcome! Actually, Rolling Thunder doing a lot of work to actually prevent that push. Yeah, oh. Wonderfy and Ginny, they're in great positions, but now with this uh, rotation here from left. Zestling Low, it's going to allow them to get the spike down. It's going to be planted for long as well, and with the Operator in the hand of Zest, it's going to be very difficult for them to be able to secure this down. And uh, considering the fact that they only have Cyber Cages available to them to really try and obstruct the vision, not mm -hmm. sure that they're going to be able to do this. He does have also the Hunter's Fury in the back pocket. So even if he's going to be forced out by the fault line from the um, the breach, it's not really going to be uh, that influential here. But oh, he's not able to land the shots and not what you would expect there from Zest. But oh, the shots are on point there. Ginny is going to take down Glow. And that is, of course, Triple A taking full advantage. And I don't think that they were... And, uh, Really not able to land any of them, unfortunately. But oh, look at the, the lurk here by Wannafly. He's going to peek out, take down RB. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, he's okay. still going to get traded out. Zess working wonders here. One taps Ginny. And right now here. there's only going to be a C-Tix left on A side. Going to be a bit precarious for him to try and protect it all by himself. And that's why you see PTC already going for the rotation through spawn. But now, with this stack here, they're going to be able to pick up a couple of weapons. Uh, this is going to be an equal round, which is working out well here for Vision Striker. Mm -hmm. Yep, I, I, I like it what's going on here. The Zest, like you said, the Sheriff, he was getting those shots. And I was talking about the exchange earlier. He exchanged the Zest for the Cypher. I think it's really good. But PTC gets the kill on the Zest. Now, that's really important. What is going on now? Triple A all of a sudden popping off. Those ops are doing wonders for PTC here. And all of a sudden, this is one breach. Uh, if he really wants to get some of their money, just go don't rotate, get a plant down, but uh, he, seconds yeah, left. he just exposed himself. Gets on it now, and PTC, it's, a, it's, it's a close proximity headshot. Cloudburst is going to be working wonders here. Space going to be created by RB. He's looking for the player on site. PTC is going down here by Zest as he's going to be able to pick him off all the way in Garage as he's just not able to reposition in time. But Congrat starting to go here for the flank, but it is going to be Glow able to take him down straight away. And now this is going to be a very difficult retake here from Triple A. And you can already see them starting to recede back towards the other sides and back into spawn as they do want to try and save these guns. They are playing for the long game. He can recognize when uh, it's probably going to be a little bit beyond them to take this round. I mean, it is 5 to 1. They can afford to drop one if they want to, but this is exactly what I was talking about. Like, create noise or you know something you can push, you have to rotate quickly. This is heaven, you know? Like, you need to make your decisions quick, especially in this map, and you got to make them quick. So, um, props to them. They are uh, going to have a flawless round, 5 man alive, and uh, we'll see if they can keep this up. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, I think uh, attack all around, they were not too prepared for that. You see, now they're actually going to switch things up. We do have a split push, like maybe just try to uh, make some noise here and there. Get some discipline, maybe some... The RB going to spot out, Conqueror, and he takes him down. That's a Sova. Nope, can't take it out as well, but however, Stax does get the counter. It is going to be a 3 to 4 right now, though. Uh, PTC is going to push up. Right, like I said, if you, if you take too long as a uh, as an attacker, you do allow uh, flanks to yep. happen, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, I totally agree. With the double pick there, though, they are gonna be moving here onto A side, predicting a l maybe uh, some of the defenders still staying onto that C side. But there is only gonna be this presence here oh by one fly in heaven. He doesn't have a lot of backup. Here. He does have PTC Fight moving play. down A long. Might be able to uh, get into a position here for the retake. There is also gonna be Ginny going by connector, but uh, so far he's already starting to. Pull out the flash points here. They're gonna fall into hell there and only able to exchange there with one. King though is gonna be able to I instantly exactly refrag. Now ready. he's gonna be holding things, but all the flank here coming out from Glow as he moves up from sewer is gonna be good to catch out PTC, not gonna be influencing things. And now this looks like an impossible task here for Ginny to really try and come out with the win. Yep, I don't think he can um I think he gets a defuse there, probably like look to stay there. Okay, no, he's at heaven. I but unfortunately, gets spotted out by King. Nice hit shot though, and 
see Cubby Ascetics moving up a little bit more here to try and get some vision, but now with the dark cover going to be in place there, I think they're going to be aware of the potential here. And look at the wall banks, or rather the random sprays here by Ascetics through the dark cover is going to be so effective. And now, looks like they are going to be committing to the side stacks, going to be unleashing the Rolling Thunder. King is also going to be moving in here. He's able to take down one. He gets the second and also looks like they're going to have that site control. Only going to be two players moving in here for attack all round. Ginny and PTC. Spanker, though, that, that is going to zone them out for a bit, but man, we talk about the smoke and wall bang, wall bang, man bang, more like uh, camera. So, spawn out stacks. The, he is needing to be careful there. I mean, it is post pan after all, so um, got one look at that camera. I just he knows where he is right now, so King want to make a wrap around and see if he can get it though. But they do have the number advantage still. There comes the out from that. Gets, nope, he didn't get anything, but King is the one that just snaps up PTC. That's a core player, Ginny as well. As he gets to the stack, so he's not going to want him to. They get quick frags, you know, pick up their weapons. They might turn this in their favor because right now, all they need is information, at least for Triple A side. They don't really need to push out. They don't really need to um, put themselves in risk. They just get information, just get a post plan. Yeah, but it does look like that the, the read here is coming out here from attack all around. They're going to all be positioned here on A side, but looks like they're still pushing in, not able to get anything until PTC with the Blade Storm able to take on his opposite number, but that's just all going to be what they are able to achieve. And now you can already Spike see that attack all around bugging out from this one. They have to try and save their guns if they want to try and uh, at least get, uh, well, after this round, there's only going to be two rounds left in the half and really see if they can sustain with that because they are going to be expected to get more rounds on the defensive side. But, you know, uh, the Bucky didn't really work out, of course. Uh, really just trying to hold those tight angles. Yeah. Uh, I can't blame them. I think, you know, um, we've seen Myth Attitude be bringing the Bucky here quite substantially yeah. out of all the teams. And really, uh, you know, we are getting more and more believers in that. But it's not going to be panning out in this particular round. Yep. Four players still alive here for Vision Strikers, and they got to be fancying their chances after they're going to be drawing level. Oh, it's 5 to 5. Eight. Really try, but hey. Here's where they actually start. 5 on 5, they're still alive because Kermit comes out. As it gets one onto Zez, Ginny gets stunned though in the background there. So they are going to move forward, gets in, teleported in there. He spots one up at Kami. But here, as that is with the ability, with the ult, excuse me, but in the meantime, everyone of of wait, I'm sorry, everyone of VS is actually dropping like flies. And all of a sudden, we do have the attempt for a defuse. It's really sneaky there, we try the RB. Can he do it? That's one, that's, no, I was about to say that's two. I had hopes, he was low. He was low. Oh, he was one hit there, but they managed for working out for them, and we're, they're going to pop flash here, moving in onto site, but this is going to be a retake scenario coming out from Vision Striker. They're going to be positioned here on the link side. PTC, though, he's going to be creating space on the A link, and now that's going to push them back somewhat. They're going to be aware that the mo probably more of the pressure is going to be coming from C link or even on the mid side. Currently, they do have Congred uh, watching out on the mid, and they're actually going for the flank through Acidix here into Garage here, but uh, oh, it's not going to be working out there for Zess as he's trying to retake from A. They're being focused all the way here from that C link, but they're all going to burst onto site. RB is able to take down one. He's the only player left here. He's going to be in a little bit of trouble. RB will not be able to two-player stack here going to be waiting at the top of a ramps but there's not going to be much else help as uh, stacks here he has to move in from the lobby side hit things and ptc moving and making space here as he's going to be the first one to go down but this is exactly what you want to have happen he only had the ghost available to him and now they're starting to pull down the rest here but stacks he's got other ideas the flashpoint working in his favor but that's not going to be able to allow them to get anything further from this game Yep, I, I don't know if you want to consider that like an eco rondo, but like VS is being completely decimated right now. Right here, so I guess I don't know if there's a way for them to like to enter this though. They know the cypher is up there. Um, one poke out. That's a well, I, game, yeah. I think Operator, um, you know, definitely can work well given the kind of talent that we have on hand, but RB opting not to go for that. He's going for this aggressive push, and now look at this. He's pushing all the way through, able to take down three of the players there in quick succession, just not able to get out even with that second tailwind, and now he's going to be biting the dust. But look at this. It is a 2v2 situation as they manage to trade out. Zez able to take down PTC as he's going to be hanging out inside. Congrat, he is one hit away here. and They're really not looking to push out here quick though but they are using the same chat really still pushing banana a long they're going in gets one onto rb gets two onto zess this is pretty much already secured the site so two cloud that they are rushing in they, they, they've, they've got it they've got it 
He is down right now and is just gonna give Triple A the chance to actually make the push. Um, there you go. Well, however, Glow actually spots them out. There's gonna be a blind. It's gonna be a quick, lovely blind actually because it's a one-way street that will prevent them from pushing a little bit though. He goes up one, gets up left. two as well. Spike Carrier now is down. Of course, not before one fight, he takes down the Sova. But that is now another trade actually. Stacks for, uh, Red. Oh my lord. Omen doing Omen things. Guessing he is at C will get a plant down, I think. He should he should be able to clutch this though, because I believe he still has some paranoia. Oh, but uh, he has stepped on the tripwire. He's only got a, just a bit over 80 HP. And no, oh, look, looks like the flanky shots here from King is going to be good. And they are going to be striking back. This is a really tight game. Uh, I mean, Triple A have been really pushing Vision and Strikers, but Vision and Strikers are pushing. Well, so you see a full man rotating in and right now, though. Hyper Cage gets up, though. Cage gets taken down. Potency, of course, stacks takes out PTC in the meantime. There's so many smokes. We don't even know who is where now. Shock Thunder actually misses up, but it does zone them out. So we got. Do we have the Rolling Thunder? Yes, we do. I think it actually stuns out the Omen in the background there, though. The Omen. I would take that in the meantime. Stack takes out Ginny. We're looking very, very good now for VS. 30 seconds left. Where is he? One more, though. He is sitting in the corner. Zest. He is cornered, actually. Hello there. Oh. Next, <gasps> next, Hello there. next level plays coming out. Trying to push in, take control of Garage. Um, and then get out on um, training. That means okay, never mind. They actually trying to push C in already. Wanna fly gets a kill on the kick. Zest as well actually goes down. This is really bad for VS. For A. Gonna get a plant. That's a post plant. You can see. Strike goes down. Stacks. Double kill the wanna fly. Glow gets checked out in the meantime though. But Stacks. And Stacks with the shock down onto Stacks. What is going on here? VS. Off sun dropping down. But RB. Come on, RB. Got this one. Come on. Can we need to do this? He has an op though, but he is a jet. Could choose to uh, swap out a gun. He does exactly that. He does have cloud burst. He can stave out the visions and try to get some uh, <laughs> get some sneaky defuse. Though it's not hitting him though. There we go. The recon actually hits him. It's okay. We already wasted one rolling thunder, however. But there is still some more time on that timer for the defuse. But it's a matter of okay, you get one frag, he gets one, he does the Ginny is actually, you yep. know, taking a bit of time to get the plant down. No, I want to say Ginny, like this is an left. entry without uh, abilities used from breach. So right now these can actually be used to prevent uh like prevent diffuses. Alright, so we know one is in heaven. All five people still alive, so do we still have a skirmish? That's an entry. RB RB gets the pistol kill. I don't know if this I don't know if you consider this as an Ikaron, but hey players in the middle of the park. They do have enough trip wires to really give enough intel uh on, onto the positioning, but that's gonna be about it. I and mean, we can already see them moving towards Gong and A Link. Yup, they hear it though, but that is oh, that's gonna increase. Audio cues, RB takes out PTC. Of course, PTC does not have a gun there though. Glow takes out one of the flies. Great, hey, Charles coming out your way. The entry is still not there. They know everyone is at B main. Aesthetic does not have a gun, only have a ghost there. Um, looking to make the rotation now. They know all men's on B. Three smokes actually utilize as well. All dark covers use actually. So, um, smart. VS rotating. One to C, one to garage actually. But of course, stacks with the spike. Gonna make a long wrap around potentially to A. They are fighting with a two man deficit and it's not looking good if VS takes this because they will tie 11 11 if they defend this round. Ideally, the best left. that they want to do here is try and, you know, do a little bit more damage, get one or two more kills, and uh, if they're able to push them out of the position, they could be able to get the, the plan down for a little bit of money, but now Dark Cover for Glow could be working against him, and he's going to notice here the, the Shock Dart. Uh, we do see alts up for uh, Omen. I wish they have a visual queue, actually, to see all the alts are available, but uh, RB doing RB things as usual, actually pushing out there. Is he going to get punished? No, get the big flake onto C. C drops there. Knows there are a couple of people out there. Here comes the Jones. What's that one? Gets one more. Wanna fly, but RB drops finally. So. Oh, but there gets one. Well, I think Zest here, he's gonna be absolutely trapped here. Nowhere to go. Ginny is gonna absolutely punish him as they're streaming through a lobby side of things. But there's gonna be the rotation coming out from Stacks all the way on the A connector to try and support this as uh, now. A, uh, attack all around. They have to decide. Do they want to try and follow through with this? They did manage to get the couple picks, but of course they did have damage done to them as well. Yep. But you see attack on the other side. They are waiting for a push from BS himself to try to get that out there. Misses the first off shot though. 
Oh no! Here comes the Sony. Gets it! Oh my what goodness! Jinny just staying put there is not going to help him out at all. But of course, there was going to be a lot of crossfires that going on there. A CJ is going to back all the way out. I think he's going to be betting here that he can make his way all the way to C and get the plant down. Thirty and seconds of course, left. Yeah, there was going to be quite a, a significant showing that they didn't make the rotation earlier on, yep. despite some of those earlier altercations. But yeah, you you have to double peek out of that aftershock if you really want to try and survive. But exactly. he's looking for the money game, but he is falling over the trip wires at the moment and it's still gonna be difficult they're getting into the site here on time and looks like the fault line is gonna be really way here after getting tagged there by the owl drone but now look at congress pushing on the side he's gonna be able to take down rb they have another off there in uh, the hands of zest here but looks like Zex coming in at the right time gonna be able to trade exactly zest though is still gonna get flanked there from the side and now look at this here the uh, Vision Striker falling apart here. We could be heading for overtime as they only have one player left here. Is only going to be King and uh, he's got a lot on his plate to try and come out with the final win here. He's going to get spotted out and uh, look at all four players here for attack all around. They are living up to the name once again here. One hit, not a lot that can be done. Congreg will be able to pick up the third uh, uh, kill yeah. of the round and now overtime. we have our first overtime of the day. That's fantastic. That's exactly what I like to see. I mean, close gear with the th uh, split push coming here on the C long side, but there's going to be three players here already. PTC uh, or rather RB moving here onto the C side. He's going to get taken out straight away, but that is just going to be a little bit of a fake. It's pulling them out of position now with this one of line. Not in uh, any spot here to prevent the plant from Ten going down on left. A. Yep, only Cypher there, chilling there for now, but they will get the plan off, that's the most important thing first. Okay, so we're gonna rotate, uh, rotate back, even though they are uh, dropping one man for now. We can't see too much of the camera's perspective here because everyone is already in position. Well, anyways, we we'll have to see what is going to be uh, going on here for the retake. Currently, we do have three players here all going to be stacked here on the connector side of things, and they might be able to burst in here through PTC. He's going to be able to get in, but he's going to get taken down here. But, oh, look at the crossfire. Going to be great here and on point for Vision Strikers. They are looking for the last player. Congrat, he's got everything to do and not a lot of time to do it, and he's pushing up. But now, this is almost certainly here going to Vision Strikers. Yep. Over time, man. Don't have to worry too much about your economy. You gotta put an omen action. Um, slowly but surely, they are pushing in. That's the tracking that spots out PTC at least. Oh, but they have to be a little bit careful here. The dark cover did come out here right at the last moment for Glow. And actually, they're going to be all rotating around the side. They do already have presence through PTC. He is already left. on A after the rotation, pulling everyone out of position. Now, look at everyone streaking here through Sewer. They're going to all be moving in. They're going to be playing Retake King. Gonna, currently going to be out on the Heaven side of things. See if he can get any of the shots to initially he land. He does have Cyber Cages in support to stop them on it. getting Vision on the long, but one to fly. He also has cyber cages of his own. He's going to be delaying things as much as possible here on the connector side of things, even putting down a tripwire to boot. But four players are going to be stacked up here by the connector and uh, not going to have quite a number of dimensions going for them as they do want to try and push into the site here pretty soon. I wonder what Glow is doing. He's just chilling out there at A long, but like I think the skirmish is about to happen. Here comes the cyber cages. One drop down there. Those stacks actually get to the aesthetics. Of course, that's actually dropped in the meantime. King actually drops as well. It's just counter kills back and forth. Vision Strike having the number advantage right now. Here comes the diffuse. All right, we're chilling. The smoke preventing them from any vision. The diffuse is gonna be successful. And Vert, oh my lord, V 